it would seem that this is the season where many push the champion Christian. And by champion Christian, I'm meaning the person who's on top of the mountain, the person that's excelling, the person that's getting blessed, the person uh, that's seen in the marketplace as being all of that and a bag of chips. And if those are the people we push. Nothing wrong with seeing successful Christians or successful believers. Here's where the problem comes in. Everybody else is going through their valleys, tough times, and rough places, and horrible pits and miry clays. We say that they're not believers because they're not on top of the mountain. They're still going through. But the Bible is full from cover to cover of the things that people who call themselves believers have to go through. So we got to stop this champion Christian peace. God does want his saints to prosper, but don't look down your nose and say the person that's going through isn't, isn't a believer. Psalm 34 verse 19, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. 2 Timothy 3 verse 12, yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Uh, John 16, I think verse 33, in this world ye shall have tribulation. So you've never been promised a rose garden for a life as a believer in Christ. But let's not make the mistake that we made during the throes of the prosperity movement in the 90s where we said, if you have a problem, you must not be in the word. It's because you're in the word you're going through.